Hello, ceramics and sculpture. This video is on your note taking for the seven principles of art and design. Throughout this video, I recommend that you pause it at any time that you need to write down your notes. So for note taking here, just making sure that you're using a Cornell sheet in your binder. And as we go through the seven principles of art and design, contrast, balance, emphasis, movement, so on and so forth, making sure you have the names of those principles highlighted at the end. And then I'd have the kind of definition you can say off to the right. You wanna pause this video at this time to copy down the essential question and the topic. Go ahead and do that. To get started here though, contrast is opposite elements arranged in a composition. So that could be light against dark or a red triangle in a green circle. So that red and green playing on both shape and color. Anything that's underlined, you should be taking notes of in your note-taking sheet. Balance, the layout of visual weight of objects, colors, texture, and space. If the design was a scale, these elements should be balanced to make the design feel stable. In symmetrical balance, the elements used on one side of the design are similar to those on the other side. So here with this drawing, it has a asymmetrical balance to it. You have the hands on both sides, the flower, the sun. If it was cut in half, it would almost be mirrored on the other side. Once again, anything that's underlined should be in your notes. Emphasis, the part of the design that catches the viewer's attention. Usually the artist will make one area stand out by contrasting it with other areas. The other area could be different in size, color, texture, shape, etc. So the apple one is pretty obvious, but with the starfish and the rocks, that's more of the shape part. So we have contrasting shapes. The emphasis here is that starfish. Movement, path of the viewer's eye takes throughout the work of art, often to focal areas. Movement can be directed along lines, edges, shape, and color within the work of art. So in the great wave here, we're going from one edge to the other with this movement of the wave with the lines kind of directing us in that motion here, it leads our eyes through the work of art. Unity, the feeling of harmony between all parts of the work of art, which creates a sense of completeness. So in this work here, we have lines, shape, color, all working together to give it this sense of completeness. Rhythm, I like to think of this one as like a walk, a heartbeat, listening to music, dancing. Art has rhythm as well. So rhythm as a design principle is based on the repetition of colors, shapes, forms, lines, or value contrast. Developing rhythm in a work of art helps to unify the surface and create a feeling of organization. Pattern. Patterns are made in art when the same shapes or elements are repeated again and again. So each one of these works includes a bunch of different patterns. You can even see pattern in photography. This is the last principle to take a note on. After you copy this down, you'll be done.